You played with uh, Akeem and, and Yao. You're one of the unique Rockets that got to play with both guys. T tell me what it's like and what you think back at as far as playing with, with, with two great big men like that. Uh, it was an honor. You know, I got Yao when he was a rookie. And, um, you know, we had a great relationship. He ended up becoming my best friend. Uh, we were neighbors um, when we lived out of Windsor Park and Katy. Just having an opportunity to play with that guy was it was great. Um, he was like a throwback center to me because he could shoot it, he could pass it. He just loved playing the game. And with Akeem Olajuwon, it was, it was like a dream come true because uh, when I was younger, I was, you know, in middle school, I was bigger than most of the kids, so I played forward, and I wanted to be Akeem Olajuwon. I had the Atonic shoes, the jersey number, everything. It was just a joy just to have, you know, my dream come true and be able to play for the Rockets and actually play with Akeem. What can you tell us about both of those guys? They're both kind of quiet. You, you, you didn't know a whole lot about either guy. Uh, what are they like personally? What can you tell us that maybe people wouldn't know about Akeem or, or Yao? Akeem, he's a great teacher. Uh, he taught me so much um, how to take care of my body, how to prepare myself, and just how to be a pro. Uh, he'll t he talks more than people think with his teammates and stuff like that and when he's in the locker room. Maybe not as much, you know, when, we out, when you're out in public and things like that, but uh, he's a great person, learned so much from him. And Yao, uh, he was just learning from us because I was an older guy. You know, Yao came in as a rookie, and I'm, you know, that much older than Yao. And um, he was just looking to looking to me for advice and what he needs to do and how can he be better and stuff like that. And we used to work a lot in the, train, in the weight room and stuff like that, so we had a great relationship. You're like a lot of guys that uh, came through the Rockets. You've decided to stay in Houston. What is it about this city that, I mean, we just talked to Marcus Cambia a few months ago. He's here. Uh, what is it about this place that uh, keeps all the former Rockets to staying here? Uh, it reminds me of being at home in D.C. I'm from D.C., and um, it's the same kind of people. Um, they're, they're friendly. Uh, they get along. They care about you, and uh, they look out for you when you're here. And they, they, the fans are great. They're, they're great. And uh, you can't beat this well. <laughs> you know, it, it feels good not to have to put on boots and coats and hats and things like that. But overall, I enjoyed the city. It's, it's, it's a big place. Um, you know, it's, it's a different environment, and it's a great place to settle down. Your nickname has been Moochie, I'm assuming, for a long time. Tell me how the name came about. How did you become, went, I guess, from Martin to Moochie? My grandfather, song, my grandfather's favorite song was Cab Calloway's song, Minnie the Moocher, and that's where it originated from. I've been Moochie as long as I can remember, since I was a baby. Uh, my granddad started calling me that from the time I was from birth. You know, my mom and him told me, and it's just stuck with me all the time. Nobody calls you Martin. One person called me Martin all the time, and that was my assistant coach, uh, the Houston Rockets assistant coach, uh, Rudy's, Rudy's guy, Larry Means. He used to call me that all the time. He told me, I'm not calling you Moochie, I'm calling you Martin. And every game, every day, uh, he used to say Martin, 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 Martin. Sometimes I wouldn't hear him when he was calling me on the bench because I'm so used to hearing Moochie. But every now and then, he'll crack a joke later on and say, I'm going to call you Moochie one day. But he never did. <laughs> What about Rudy T? You know, talk about what it was like to play for him. Uh, it was great. Players, coach, um, a, a friend, a mentor. Um, it ain't enough words to put in uh, what meant Rudy meant to my career because he really gave me my shot to actually get out there and play and have some um, have faith in me and my abilities to be out there and record and uh, be able to get it done. Um, still remain in a relationship with him. I mean, he's great. I, I can't say enough about him. You're listening to Houston Sports Talk.